Hello everyone, I'm Matt Evans and welcome to Board Game Replay. In this series, we try to capture the experience of playing a board game by sitting down for a post-game discussion, talking about various elements of that game, and then during our discussion, we're going to be cutting back to replay clips of moments that we found fun or exciting. Now today we're going to be playing Merchants and Marauders, designed by Christian Markison and Casper Agard, and published by Z-Man Games. And before we get into this game, as usual, I'd like to offer a brief rules overview uh, just for those who aren't familiar with this game and to give you a little bit more context for our discussion. We're definitely not going to be covering everything, but just give you the basics of what's going on here. But that said, if you're already familiar with this game and you don't need any of that, I'm going to put a link up here as well as one in the description of this video. You can click that, skip right by it. Okay, so in Merchants and Marauders, players are going to be taking on the role of captains in the Caribbean during the Golden Age of Piracy. They're going to be hoping to gain 10 glory points uh, by completing various deeds here throughout the, uh, throughout the Caribbean. Anything from picking up and delivering goods, um, to missions and rumors that they might happen to encounter, upgrading their ship, or even destroying their enemies in combat. Now that last one is where this game gets interesting. As you can see, the title is obviously Merchants and Marauders, and most of what I just mentioned there is merchant-type stuff. Well, again, that's where this game gets interesting, because everyone essentially starts the game uh, with a clean slate. They all start as merchants. They're all good guys. And basically, throughout their adventures, at any time, one of the players may decide they want to switch and become a pirate. And they do that in a couple of different ways. The first of which is a merchant raid. They might decide that that merchant ship they're sharing a space with looks great, and choose to raid that ship for goods and gold. They can also, as I mentioned, attack other ships and ship-to-ship -ship combat. You can attack other merchant players at the table, or you can attack the neutral NPC naval ships that are cruising around. And any time you perform any of these actions, you're going to immediately become a pirate because you're going to gain a bounty. All of the ships in this game have a captain associated with it, obviously, and each of those captains belongs to a particular nationality. So whenever you choose to attack one of those ships, you're going to gain a bounty with the country associated with that captain. Now, as I mentioned, once you gain this bounty, that is what officially makes you a pirate. You now become a target for not only the country that you upset, but all of the other NPC naval ships on the board. Basically, not only did you anger Spain, but all these other guys see there's a bounty that Spain's willing to pay for your head, so they're going to come after you as well. The NPC ships, as well as all the other players, any of the other merchant players, they can come after you to try to collect on that bounty as well. And these bounties compound. The more times you attack Spanish ships, or, or any ships for that matter, the more your bounties rise with, that, with each of those countries and making you more valuable to the other players. So you become a pretty big target playing a, playing a pirate. It's a heavy risk situation, but the rewards can be great. Now that doesn't mean playing strictly as a merchant is a cakewalk either. It's also very challenging to play as a merchant because you're going to be going around doing some of those things I mentioned, trying to be making good trades, but there's going to be events coming up in the, in the event deck here, like crazy weather that comes up. There's actually even pirate NPC ships that are going to spawn, and they're going to be chasing after you, trying to steal your goods aboard. And obviously, any of the other human players playing as pirates, they're going to be coming after you as well, looking for that juicy ship filled with goods and gold. Now that basically covers sort of an overview of what you're going to be doing in the game, but I definitely want to cover a few of the mechanical things as well. Okay, so at the start of the game, players are going to be given a captain card here, which has their various skills down here with different numbers, as well as a unique special ability here. And these numbers at the bottom of the card, this just represents how good they are at that particular skill. Uh, so the, here, this first one is seamanship, and he's got a three. That means he rolls three dice whenever he performs a seamanship check. And these dice are all, the pips go from one to four, and then the five and six spaces have this skull and crossbones here. And that represents success. So if you're doing a seamanship check, this guy would roll three dice, hoping for at least one of those skull and crossbones to come up. Uh, some skill checks in the game reward you for having additional successes, but the vast majority are just looking for that one symbol. Next, you're going to choose a ship for your captain, and you can either choose the highly maneuverable sloop or the less maneuverable flute, but holds quite a bit more cargo. You can adjust the stats here of this board here. This is what these little cubes are. They represent the various stats for the ship. And throughout the course of the game, you're going to use this to either track upgrades that you get for the different areas of your ship uh, or any damage that you take is going to be shown in that track as well. Speaking of upgrades, these are where they would all go. There's various different things that you can do to make your ship stronger, have better uh, defenses, hold more cargo, better cannons, that sort of thing. You can also buy these one-shot abilities like chain shot, grape shot, or grappling hooks that basically have a really powerful ability, but you can only trigger it once and then the token goes away. Now on a player's turn, they're given three actions, and those actions are typically move, scout, or port. A move action is pretty simple. A single move action gets you to move to one adjacent sea space or into a port inside of a sea space. 
And you can use these move actions however you like. You can move two C spaces and into a port, but each space that you move costs you one of your actions. The next action is scout. Now I mentioned merchant raids earlier and attacking other players. And that's basically how you do that. You basically, if I'm sharing a space with one of these merchant tokens here or another player or NPC ship, I can roll my dice for my scouting check on my captain's card. If I'm successful, I can then choose to attack those ships. Uh, the third action is the big one, and that's where a lot of the action in the game happens is in the port. So if I move my ship into a port, if I already have my ship there and I take a port action, I now unlock, gosh, uh, like a dozen other things that you can do inside of a port. It's where a lot of the core of the game happens. You know, anything that you could do in a seaport, that's what you can do in this game. Buying and selling goods, recruiting crewmates, selling ship parts, upgrading your ship, that sort of thing. Now I mentioned the way to win this game is by acquiring 10 glory points, and there's a lot of different ways to do that. The first of which is by selling goods that are in demand. All these little icons on these different spaces here represent goods that are currently in demand at those ports. So if a player sails to that port, takes the port action, and then sells three or more of the good that's in demand, they're going to get a glory point as well as a substantial amount of gold. In order to sell goods though, you have to buy goods. So obviously one of the other port actions you take is buying goods, and you can see that your good cards look like this. You can buy any number of them that you want as long as you've got the space for it on your ship. Another way to gain glory points is by completing missions or rumors. While you're in a port, you can claim a mission. So down here, if I was docked in this port, I could claim this mission and then attempt to complete it. It's generally a pretty involved thing. It requires a fair amount of time, but the rewards are pretty substantial. In addition to the glory point, you'll probably get a bunch of gold or maybe even a new ship or, or something great. You get a lot of good stuff from it. You can also, while you're in a port, attempt to acquire one of these. This is a rumor card. You can roll a skill check against your captain's skill if you're successful, you'll gain one of these rumors and you try to complete it as well. It's kind of just a lighter version of a mission, and uh, but yeah, the rewards aren't quite as good, but you'll still always gain a glory point for it. Another way to gain a glory point is to acquire a galleon or a frigate, and you can do that by visiting the shipyard inside of a port and buying a bigger ship. So you've got these galleons and frigates, which are just much larger, much better versions of your starter ships. There's actually a secret way to gain glory points as well, and that is through the stash action. If you're inside your home port, you can stash gold inside your little treasure chest here. And every 10 gold that you stash, not only does it keep it safe from other pirates, but every 10 gold you stash is worth one glory point. And you can gain up to five glory points from doing this. And the cool part is you don't even have to tell anybody you're doing it. You can get all the way up to five glory points in the regular game while you've got 50 gold stashed and then say, hey, I've got 50 gold in here, I'm going to win next turn. So I mentioned merchant raids earlier, and this is another way to gain glory points in this game. So I've set one up here in front of us. Basically, when you start a merchant raid, you're going to draw three cargo cards from the top of the deck. And you're not going to pay attention to the goods necessarily. You're just really looking at these symbols at the bottom right at first. And in order to succeed a merchant raid, you can't have any damage take one, any of these stats off a track. Basically, if anything falls off here from taking too much damage, you're going to fail the merchant raid. These symbols at the bottom right here represent what parts of your ship are going to be damaged. So here I'm taking a damage to crew, a damage to cargo, and this symbol over here is an escape symbol. So that's not going to deal any damage, but if there are more escape symbols than my maneuverability, then the merchant ship is just going to escape and I fail as well. So here taking a crew damage I can afford and a cargo damage I can afford. So I'm going to succeed this merchant raid right now. However, I'm only going to gain 8 gold because you add up the value of these numbers at the bottom. In order to get a glory point from a merchant raid, you have to gain at least 12 gold. So when you start a merchant raid after you reveal the cards, you're going to roll your seamanship dice, hoping for as many successes as possible. If you are successful, you can use these to swap out these cards. You can discard this card if you don't like it. It's going to hit you in the wrong spot and blow up your, that part of your ship. Uh, or you can draw additional cards to add to this and maybe hope to increase your value. Or you can just discard and draw as one single action, just replace a card. So this is all about pressing your luck here. So I've got two successes. I'm going to use it to draw an additional card. Boom. All right. <laughs> this is only worth two more, so I'm only at 10 gold right now, and I'm going to have to take a damage to masts. Now I'm going to push my luck. I'm going to go for one more time, and I'm going to draw an additional card. And look at that. I've got another four here. That puts me up to 14 total gold, and this is just another escape symbol. No more damage. So this ship isn't going to get away, and I'm only going to sustain, let's see, masts, crew, and cargo. So cargo, masts, and crew. None of these were damaged enough to knock them off the track, but I am hurting. But now I'm going to gain 14 gold and a glory point. Now the last and probably most exciting way to gain glory points in this game is through naval combat. Naval combat takes place over uh, just a number of rounds where players are choosing an action. The action can either be to fire your cannons, attempt to board, or flee. 
And players are going to take, they're going to choose that action, then they're going to roll their dice for their seamanship check. Whichever captain has more successes is going to succeed with their action. So if you chose to fire your cannons and you succeed and you have more successes than the other player, you're going to fire all the cannons on your ship. Whenever you fire your cannons, you're going to roll a die, and whatever the pit value shows, that's what section of the ship uh, your opponent's ship is going to become damaged. If you roll the success symbol, your opponent gets to choose where the damage goes. Now as you start damaging player ships, and these cubes move down these tracks, whenever they get off of a track, they get more and more setbacks, obviously, from, from like your cannons taking hits means you have less cannons to fire now, it makes it harder and harder. But also, if you ever take damage to a spot that has already sustained damage, like let's say your cannons were already gone and you take another hit to cannons, that goes directly to your hull now. And if your hull is ever destroyed, your ship blows up and you sink, the other player wins. One of the other things that you can do, as I mentioned, you can also try to board. If you're successful in a boarding attempt, you no longer roll your seamanship dice. You're basically on the other player's ship. You have boarded their ship, and now you're having crew combat. Crew combat basically just means that you're now going to be rolling your leadership dice, whatever your, your sword symbol is here, and trying to gain successes. For every success you roll with your leadership dice, this happens simultaneously. Both players are rolling it. For every success you roll, you kill a crew member from the other member's ship. But you can never kill more crew members than crew that you have yourself. So if you only have one crew and you roll two successes, it doesn't matter. You'd still only kill one of this guy's crew. And this just continues. You basically keep rolling your leadership dice, picking off your crewmates until there's no crew left on one of the ships. That player would then win the crew combat and have the opportunity to not only, not only does he win the, the combat, but he can also loot anything on the ship, cargo, gold, and he can also steal the ship as well. Now there are quite a few more rules here that I didn't cover. This is a really big game, but I think that should give you a, a pretty broad overview of how this game works and the basic mechanical things going on. But even out us today, I've played this game many, many times, and I still use these great two-sided guides. This is from the Esoteric Order of Games. If you're going to pick this game up, you're going to play this at some point, I highly recommend going to their site. I'm going to put a link to them in the description of this video. They have excellent, excellent guides that basically condense a giant rulebook into essentially a little two-sided piece like this. And it actually covers the vast majority of the rules. So it's great for little quick lookups and clarifications for things like that. Like things like port actions. There's so many different things you can do. Having a quick guide to just boop, have them all right there, it's excellent. So I think that covers it for what I want to tell you about the rules for this one. Without further ado, let's get to the game. And then second action, move out. And then oh, I moved here. Oh, so weird. Leadership roll. Please fail. <laughs> Come on, roll like I do. Yes. Oh, no. I think that's game. I, I think that's I game. I have ten victory points, team. Ah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see if we can maybe catch up to you. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You still have. You have one oh, turn. We right? all have one turn left. Yeah. yeah. All right, Brian. Uh, end of round. So let's finish that up. Oh, I need to discover one of these. here. Next round. New event. Violent storm. Players currently at sea have one less action. Uh, no. Brian I'm out. and Isaac, one I'm less out. action. Anything um, else? Four random hits at, at the end. If Good you're not God. That's rough. Brian, anything to do? I'll just port. <laughs> All right. Well, then the action. No, I don't care. Yeah, if, if, if you can't no, get to 10, I, it my, doesn't matter. My Draw a rumor. See what happens. No, oh. my rumor was, Draw a new one. was port action here. Draw a new one. Maybe you get do something the same one. I could have done I should have done Worth a shot, right? Just roll your dice. What's your leadership? Three. Whatever your chest is, the chest icon. Okay, so you never know. It could be go to San Juan and get. <laughs> what is it? Is it? It's go to San Juan. <laughs> it's do port action at San Juan. <laughs> <laughs> but you already in port. It's you the exact same thing as this. But, but you can't do it though, because you're already in the port. He's do he is currently. Yeah, but it says to take action. a port action. You all, you just got you that card. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't oh, work. so it's even better. <laughs> Because like your next turn, you just sit still and port. So that's, that's the biggest closer, slap in the face. Range. I'll go. I'm gonna move up here. I'm gonna move out, up, and scout. 
Oh yeah, if you get 12 from a raid, you can still get points. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, I'm saying I'm going for the tiebreaker with you, but it's not going to put me up enough over the it? top. Yep. Yeah, and I, it says I'm going to do Spanish. Cause that's the plus three if I do. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So Spanish. this would this is what I was kind of counting on, but uh, let's see. You have 50 gold bank. We'll see. I don't know yet, huh? Ow. Yeah. Better roll some successes. Oh, you got grape shot. God, freaking grape shot at least. I'm going to trade that in. You just got to draw one. It's really hope. Yes, I mean, even if five. I draw five, it's not going to do it. <coughs> eight, five, nine, ten. Seven, eight. Doesn't matter. No, plus three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Drawing one. Cannons. Five? Cannons, but it blows it up. I lose it. <laughs> Wait. I lose it. I draw, I draw cannons. I got nothing I can do. I think you can still win without cannons, no? No, as soon as something goes off the Anything, track, you lose a mercenary. Cannons? Yeah. That was close. It was close. Even then, like... That would have been alert. <laughs> so <laughs> not... So I like, do. just draw San Juan. Oh, I can't do it. I'll just draw, I draw one more. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Dude, that came down to the. That was so close. Because, like, yeah, I mean, I have 50 gold. Yeah, 50. Like, Did you I have mean, 52, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was 50 gold. So, I mean, you guys. So, yeah, if either of you got one victory point, it would have been a tie. It would have been a tie, and you'd win because you are just slightly further up the yeah. track than us. So, that was that was really, really close there. <laughs> so, uh, to have this. There's a lot of time. guys entirely you know? gone. Do we want to? Uh, well, I, don't, I didn't think he'd be. <laughs> 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 just. Do you want to get a little closer? Do you have some stuff to sell? Like, setting his own ah, circle yes. Fire. If I could take all three of my turns, oh, I'd love to. Because he got two actions. Pretend. He started in C. Nope. <laughs> hey, did you start in C this turn, Jeremy? No, no you didn't. You were in the port. Yeah. Did you stash anything, Isaac? Uh... <laughs> So, I'm so sorry, because that was a bummer. No, I'm all like, it was man. super close. Hey, I, 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 I don't think, I, after three times of playing this game, I still don't understand it. Too many freaking rules for me to understand. Uh, I have no I have no grasp on the board. Uh, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of game, dude. Like, yeah, it's not, really it's, this is not my There's game. There's a lot of luck, too. Well, here's the thing, right? Like, so, I think that... We've played this, what, three times now? Four yeah. times now with you guys? Um, I, I think, I mean, luck is definitely a factor. That's one of the things. Like, this is a super big game with a ton of rules. It's got, like, that, that Euro-style, like, pick up and deliver, like, economic. Like, you're supposed to, like, you know, understand the value of goods, like, selling goods yeah. in demand. Like, there's all those things, but there's a lot of dice rolling. It's a lot of presser luck stuff. Like, there's a lot of, hey, I'm going to take this rumor and sail four spots over here and chance it. If you fail, it's like... Oh yeah, it's heartbreaking. Or like you go to do a merchant raid and you get crushed. You know, like it's yeah, or it's like Ryan said, those he was on his way just to get to here. It was like two storms slowing yeah. him down. That's wasting one or two turns at least. It, so yeah. it could be. I like, wonder if, if you had one or two more turns, you probably would have tied or won. Yeah. Or, I mean, I think for the for this case, like with the, the outlier of Isaac. I mean, Isaac got really hampered on luck. Like he had some bad luck. Yeah. But I mean, the fact that. We're all kind of saying. Know, like, I don't know if that's necessarily true. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it. Had, I had. I have a hard time understanding the goal uh, in situations. The thing I found interesting is like we were watching you for that game, going, "God, Jeremy just keeps getting so lucky. He keeps getting so lucky." And like, yeah, some of the stuff you were having was lucky, but I wouldn't say either one of us was particularly really lucky with anything, and we almost won. So like, there's. I think there's enough elements of stuff going around that. Well, there's like, that, and like. There's a lot of player interaction. Yeah, going on, so nobody, stopping, nobody did anything to stop me. We didn't really go after you, and we didn't. Like I was kind of ribbing these guys, like guys, go for it, go for it. But like they're merchants, and they have a whole system down. So like, why would they do that? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, why I had would they a go tier for that? one ship too? You had a tier so, one ship with some good upgrades, but yeah, yeah still, you weren't really going to stand much of a chance against a, a friggin' yeah, with once four I got the, glory cards. I got the galleon. Down. Yeah, I had the galleon with an extra cannon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was rough. An extra cannon and swivel guns. Yeah, I was pretty, I was pretty well off. Oh man! But it was only uh, only one pirate too. Yeah, it was just me. Yeah. Nobody else went for it. I was I originally planned to go pirate because like the last few games I played pirate and it was yeah. fun and it seems a little bit more difficult and like it, it's, a little more chance. Yeah. So I wanted to do it again, but I didn't draw any good captains for it. Yeah. Then we actually house rule too. When we when you pull the captains at the beginning, we pull three. Like yeah. just because it seems yeah. to yeah. be yeah. normally you're supposed to just. It draw gives one. you a little bit more of a choice. It's like one or two or something. I think the rules actually just say secretly draw captains, secretly pick your ship, yeah. and then place your stuff secretly. Right. We're just like draw three captains and pick one that you think looks fun. You know, that's yeah. we should explain the the beginning ships. I mean, it, depending on what you go with, like you can pick that's pirate, nice. like pirate or merchant is is irrelevant at the beginning of the game. It basically you just choose a character that you might think will be good one way or another, and then. You choose a starting ship, and the starting ship kind of a little bit of shoehorns you into a kind of yeah, style I mean, of play. You have high combat value, then it's like yeah, because there's no other way to really boost your dice roll, your seamanship, other than maneuverability. Yeah, exactly. I mean the 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 merchant. If you're going to be merchant, you want the ship with cargo because you'll be picking up and delivering. The basic the 
cheapest, easiest ship that you start with is the Fluke, and it has four cargo. It's crazy. And, I mean, the, the pirate ship is a sloop. It's crap on all of its stats. It's really, really low cargo, really, really low people, and then it mm. has... What is it? Like, yeah, it's, it's one on everything except maneuverability, which helps you with merchant raids. And I was getting smashed by merchant raids. I, mer I raided, I think, four yeah. times this game, and... Yeah. My four merchant raids, I think I had one or two of them that I actually got a victory point from, so I was getting pounded. Yeah, I was well, getting a lot of money. You, but well, you also failed some, too. I, I failed one, right I succeeded two, and I think I got a victory point from one of them or something like that. But yeah. I will move out of track. port, and then over here I'm going to scout. One. Yes. One success. So, three cards. Ooh, that's Big pick. French or English. Ew, I'm not. I want a port here, so I'm definitely not taking the English bounty. I'm taking French bounty. Okay. The two ships that are on so the board. Are you attacking? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead okay. and attack. Give me that little circle token there. Whoa, oh, whoa, sorry, man. Oh, whoa. Lord. Why you gotta be like that? Uh, three cards, right? For this. So you have a bounty of both ships that are on the board right now. Yes, I do. Nice. Oh, cool! I drew two of the stupid things again. Oof. What is it? Crew Cargo and, and crew. I can survive that though, at least. Really? Really? Oh, man. <laughs> just laughing at me. <laughs> it's like you're attacking all the ships with water balloons. Doing both of them? You know? yeah. Only oh, costing one each. Oh, right. Um, so two successes, so you get one time. Damn it. Was that mass? No, that's fine. Mass. Yolo. You're good. Come on with these stupid cards. Oh, no, but they're all different. It's I fine. Survived. Yeah, you got six. I nine, got, wait, so hull, ten, eleven. masts, crew, and no, no cannons. No awesome. cannons. And then one escape. I literally have drained the deck of those and cards. And still only got 11. So I got... <laughs> Alright, somebody come over here and attack. Um, so six, that's attack 11, nine, right? 9, 10, 11. Oh yeah. my god. Whatever, 11 gold is 11 gold. Yeah, I'll take if he would have got 12, he would have got the victory point. Which is I will good. definitely take 11 gold. And right, 11 gold. I, will, I get one good to bring with me. I'll grab this guy. It's like you get madder the more cards you draw and the more you get hit. Like, <laughs> why does this keep happening? <laughs> oh, you keep... I think you needed more gear. Like, the, in yeah. the right in the beginning, it was like, what, turn one or turn two you attacked? Yep. And you, yeah, you had some really unlucky rolls, but if you had just had, like, mm. if you'd sailed around and picked up just a couple pieces of gear like that, I think the hammock, that's been there all game, I think. Yeah, yeah crew plus like one, that's huge. Over, you know? yeah. that's, that's, that's a great point you make about this game. There is, it's so, so much risk-reward. Like, you can take your time, slowly cruise around each port, not risking anything, I, you know, I'm going to wait in the sea space for another turn. I'm going to like go make yeah. sure I can get this gear. Yeah. You can take your time and play it as slow as you want, and maybe that will pay off. But if you play, you can play. I mean, that's the safest bet. You'll get lots of money. You'll be safe. You, you'll put your gold in the stash so nobody can steal it from you. Meanwhile, a pirate character can be risking it and going for it, and they can triple your money in two seconds. You know what I mean? Like a pirate character can just... Or they can lose raids three times. Or they can lose, yeah, yeah. And then you can get really hampered. But, like, yeah, you can play it. Or yeah. like, Well, for pirates, at the beginning of the game, I always like to go into a port first, Buy some of the, the the special weapon stuff and then use those for the free actions for when you reroll um, yeah. for redistributing these cards. Well, the just other, because you know. The other thing, like I said, as a pirate, so if you started your turn, you you did a scout on your zone and you won, you can still go into port and do the and sell the goods all in one turn. Yeah, that's exactly where, what I did my last. Whereas a merchant, you start the game, you go into port, do a port action, buy it. Now you have to go out, sell it somewhere else, or I mean, you can stay there and sell it. Potentially, it's, get a, lucky, it's, yeah. it's it's the quickest you can do it is two turns. With a pirate, the quickest you can do is sell it in one turn. Plus, you get the gold from winning the raid. Yep, and you get the goods that come up from the yeah, raid. Yeah, you get those goods. That's what I'm saying. You get the gold from winning the raid, and then the goods you kept, you can yep. go and sell those too. Basically, an early game, so an early game pirate with is a you get a couple of ship upgrades is very strong. Yeah, pirate can be quicker, but it's riskier. Merchant is usually slower, but usually less risk. But you depends you know. though. I mean, if you've got if you got the board swarming with pirates or like yeah. a bunch of ships go to war, like now yeah, if you're you not still dependent. have to play it very tactically as a merchant too, because yeah. you're like, uh, I'm not going to go near those ships over there. That that guy's going to ruin me. Yeah, if a pirate came up, or if, like you said, if there was a war, a man of war versus a level one ship, it's that's all. No I just got away from one. <laughs> His first time playing, he had a sloop. It was a man of war. He was a sloop versus a man of war, wasn't it? No, it was a frigate, I, maybe? I, no, it was a frigate. Yeah, okay. man of war was... This game you had an insane escape. Like, like early game, like that that little pirate ship attacked you. You were. It totally only had one dead. scout. He's like, yeah, it's fine. I'll just yeah, go he's not going to get me. <laughs> so I'm going to get out and then move, and he scouts me. Right? Yeah. Uh, yep. He's going to try to. Scout I'm going to do it. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, boy. Don't do it, please. <laughs> right neck ramp. Please don't. He got you! He got you! Amazing, amazing, oh, amazing you're stuff. you're dead. 
All right, no big deal. Uh, do you want to do combat for the pirate ship then? This is oh, really man. not good for me. <laughs> yes, he, it it's a sloop. You're fine. No, it's, oh, it is a sloop. Okay, you're right. It's so he's two, 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 one. one. Two, 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 one, but he's got maneuverability exceeding two of yours, so he rolls an extra die. So he rolls four dice against Isaac's three. That's not terrible. So first thing you guys do, you're going to get into combat with each other. You go, boom. First one is shooting. Cannons. You have to shoot. So. Got to shoot. You're going to roll your seamanship. And Seamen you're gonna blast ship. each other with cannons. Just Seamen Seamen is first. And he rolls an extra one because you are underneath. You have you have less. You have a low so. maneuver. Right yep. What do you got? That's cocked. Three wow. roll that one. Three roll that one. No successes. Lucky Isaac. Yes. Oh! Here's you shoot all one of your cannons. You shoot all of your cannons. All one of them. So re-roll a die now, and just re-roll one die. Your cannons right. This is your cannon you've fire. Su you've succeeded in firing. So now you see where it shoot, lands. Shoot all of your cannons. All one. Pew. So it lands on three. Ooh, crew. Nice. Boom, you kill the crew. All right. Oh, God, this and is so bad for So me. now you decide. Now you decide right now. He initiated the attack, so Jeremy has to say... I'm fleeing. I'm just you can't flee. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, the please. only way you can flee is if you've lost all the crew and something else, if yeah. you're playing in it. Or all your cannons. Bad for you. All you're crew running. Right you if you have no cannons, you can't, you can't stick around. Um, so you have to choose what you're going to do. If you're going to stay and fight or you're going to run. I'm going to... Uh, what do you got for stats over there, brother? You have crap crew. So does he now? Pretty, you can take a couple of hits, man. If you sink, if it doesn't go to crew or cannons. Crew or cannons, though, I'm Same screwed. with him. Same with him, though. It's a really weak ship. That's true. Uh, fleeing is almost impossible because you have to ha hope they roll no dice. Which I, I just did. You have but no chance of holding that again. So you're gonna shoot. If you want to shoot him. You have a better chance shooting. Yeah, I would do that. Oh man. One success. Two, two success. success. So, so he, but they both shoot. You're gonna fire all your cannons. Only one, and then he's gonna fire. I just gonna shoot his one. So you you roll one cannon, he rolls one cannon. It happens at the same time. Boom! Uh, you get to choose so where that goes, and then Isaac, you take a hit to four, which is your cannons. Oh no! <laughs> That's not good! Isaac, it's time to flee, or you can board, I guess. Damn. So I get board. to pick where this goes. I pick hole. Alright. That's the one that makes the most sense. So, it's still now your only option is to board or flee, Isaac. So The only problem with boarding, right, is if you board and you fail, you, you lose all dice. that gold. I so don't want Isaac to lose this right now. I want him to win this. If he, sh you have plenty of yeah. You have a lot to you. You can take a lot of hits. You only has one cannon. I would just keep trying to flee. Yeah. Since, since you lost your cannons before, you, when you had cannons, I would say keep Fire, shooting. Right. But now you lost the cannons. Yeah. So am I, what am I rolling for fleeing? You just same, same thing, but you say flee, and you have you flee. Have, I don't even know if you roll for it. But yeah, I don't think there is. It's just escape if your opponent made no successes. Okay. So Jeremy, oh. roll. Okay. So, so you chose to flee. No, please. Oh! Yes! yes! No way! Yes! Oh my god! I'm so relieved for you. Like, look at this pile of money. Oh you got man, right you are I so, so bad. So freaking lucky, dude! Like the odds of you getting scouted were very bad. Like, yeah, whatever. And I scouted you successfully, and then I miss on four dice. Oh, it's so good for me. Yes, that it is. Oh my god, that was gotcha. ridiculous. It was. Uh, I needed to be on that. On that, this I space. need to take port there. That I mean, you were risking. Like the guy's rolling one die, you have a thirty percent chance, thirty percent chance to have him scout right. you. He happens to scout you, and then he just kept rolls. It's like yeah. I was like, I was like, I don't want you to. You had like what forty gold on board with you right there, and that guy was going to take all of it, and it wasn't even a player. Every it was second. an NPC too, which made it even more like of an insult. Yeah, you I couldn't even that. go get that player and get it back from them. Yeah. I thought that getting a new ship was going to turn over a new leaf because my beginning in my game was really really slow so I needed to take some risk I wish I wish looking back now I had taken uh, the opportunity to attack you when you were down mm, that um, may have been that may have been good I mean I didn't have a lot of goal on yeah. board but it, <laughs> it might have taken it might have well it might have slowed you down um, that wouldn't have necessarily helped Jeremy winning but yeah that was actually a good point Jeremy sort of we had we had that whole moment where we talked about it yeah if I attack you, do I get the bounty for the You choose French? a country, you get you do five not become gold. A pirate. If you beat me... Oh, you don't? Right? No, 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 absolutely yeah, not. I'm you're, a pirate. You're, you're a pirate. vanishing, vanquishing If pirates. you defeat me, you'll get five gold from a country of Oof, your choice. That's a good idea. You don't he get both really bounties. Right now, you don't get both bounties, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for destroying the pirate. Now we're coming after you. That's true, but if what? you lose... He has four... He I have he's got five, five maneuverability. Maneuver I literally will be rolling five leadership dice, and I shoot first. Isaac, what's your seamanship? 
Uh, which one is that? The wheel? The Actually, wheel the literary is one hits so it's three to five done. <laughs> You'd have to board me, crew combat me, and then take my gold oh, that no, way. Because otherwise you only get... Oh, you'll get five gold for killing me, and if you crew combat me and take my ship, you get to keep the gold, right? If you destroy my ship, you get nothing. But I only have one crew, so that would here, so it's going to be like a... One of these. Yeah. Like, it's going to be stupid. War's not huge. Right now, you're you're probably in the lead with all that money you just got right, right. there. Anyway, yeah. so you can play it safe and stay in the lead. Mm -hmm. Or risk it, get further in the lead, or get pre-screwed. Because you'd lose all that gold. Yeah, you don't, that's, that could be bad. I mean, that's... I, I don't want you to attack me either, because I don't <laughs> uh, like my odds. I, I would personally save up and try to get your next ship. That's, that's a good one. What's your goal the right now? The secondary ship is What's really good. Are those all ones? Yeah, that's five. So you have 22 you right now. 22? You 22? can spend what? Isaac, 22 right now. If you come and buy it That's here, it, yeah. it only costs you 25. Tw what? If you come here, it only costs you 25 to go to the next ship. Because it costs 30, you sell your ship for 5. Yeah. So no you're 3 gold right? away. Oh yeah, that's God. true. And I could I can do cargo again right here, yep. right? Yep. Do 6 more. Or do you get uh, it's not. It's no. not French. Yeah, hey, I'll do that. <clears throat> One... Two, not trying three, to four. No, man, five, I'm all five, for six. keeping the action. I wanted to talk it through that I just because don't I forget. Want... I forget the dice rolls. Yeah. I don't it's care if you smash me. I know so he's going to. I'm fine. He right? will likely succeed the attack, so he's going to fire his one cannon guarantee. You have to Pretty roll much every time. You have to roll success on your three dice. Otherwise, you might get sunk too. If you lose your crew or your cannons, you're going to sit and duck. You can't do it in here, right? Beginning, I was thinking, I'm like, man, Jeremy's going to keep running away, and I'm like, guys, we got to go after Jeremy. We got to attack him, but like. There's there's so much going on. Like there's this is just it's such an insanely huge game with all these different things happening that there's random events coming from the event deck. You never know what's going to come. There's random glory cards, random loot draws. Like there's it's it's the best. Like it's just so much craziness. The game is always you can't solve it at all. Like it's yeah. not one of those games where you can be like, well, I'm always the best at this. Like it's always like an adventure because yeah, it's kind of, there's so many things going on that. You can't just master this game yeah, and be no the best. There's no sure way to success. It's, that's I would I would put this in the category of more tactical than strategy. I mean, yeah, you got a general strategy to go with, but there's so many things that can change from turn one to turn two. Yeah, you like sometimes be, you got to be on your feet. You like, know? like Isaac had a lot of money, and when you got the ship, maybe at that point you could have considered switching to the frigate and started going pirate instead yeah, of merchant. Yeah, just swap like, in the middle. Like, yeah, because like, you got a quick. If you got that frigate real early, you could have taken me and Brian out. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's all. Easy to say now. Yeah, 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 easy to say now. It always is. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, I probably should have seen uh, that coming and just gone, gone pirate. It yeah. takes it takes a lot. I mean, I've I've played this more than anyone here because I played this years ago and I played a lot. And that was just playing for that. I'm more comfortable going that way because even then, like. You probably, you've never really done a merchant raid. I mean, you might have played a couple of them last yeah, time. Yeah, I did. Not the being first not being a hundred percent familiar with the rules, you're less likely to take that strategy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know the rules fairly well for this, and I'm still. I mean, literally, like, look at next to me here. I'm still like sitting on a pile of rules. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> because there's so many little rules for this game. Yeah. That I know them well, and I'm like, I'm comfortable going. Like, you know what? I'm a good guy right now. I'm gonna switch to a pirate immediately because, like, I might see that being uh, an opportunity. To take it. I, I'm like, I might be playing a, a merchant for most of the game, and then I say, "Ooh, man." You know, I've got a ship right now that can take some extra hits. I've got a couple of specialists that have really good abilities for merchant raid. Screw it, I'm going merchant raid, and I can get two, three victory points from a quick merchant raid. You know, like, and that's you might not see that if you're, you know, you're, when you're newer to the game. It takes, you know, this is a slower experience. like Sunday afternoon type of game that it's you, like, you have to sit down with the rule book. Laid out, <laughs> you know what I mean. So or have an expert there to tell you. Yeah, that. right, right. Or you get, exactly, uh, and have somebody looking up. Uh, big, that's and even the best thing ever. Right. I mean, but we were always looking up uh, rules, Small like rules, yeah. 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 At, at least once a round, if not more. Yeah, once per round. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a little rule just to clarify we're doing something right. I mean, there's yeah. eight things you can do in a port. There's a, sp a specific order. I mean, the first time uh, the, in this game, the, for the first time ever, I retired a pirate. One more thing, I was again, I was comfortable doing it because I had played enough to go. Uh, I kind of see an opportunity to retire right here. This I'm going to do. You had four threat and three threat. Yeah, two different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I, first of all, I, I went up toe to toe with a man of war to get a mission done, and it didn't work Almost out as died. I had hoped. Almost got sank. Dude, this is even better than I thought. I just have to get in combat with a naval ship. You have to succeed aboard. One, I, I have to. I just literally have to do one round of crew combat, survive, and I can say, okay, I'm gone, yeah. and I can succeed the mission. Survive is still gonna be hard. If well, you what? It's a man of war. It's straight. It's one round though. That's the funny thing. Like I just need to be alive for one round of crew combat. Let's do this. Ready? 
Man of War. I got you. All right, we got his stats on the board. Yep. It's three cargo. Yeah, four. Yeah. All right. What do you get if you kill him? You take awesome his ship. You board his ship if you want. That's not good. Holy! Cr oh wow! Yeah. Oh, that's not so five dice, please. Five, five dice, no successes. Are you for instigating wars with man wars. Who man. started it? Oh, I like all those. Oh. Choose. <laughs> I like all those. Choose, choose your own adventure and one, uh, <laughs> one to masts. We only have a frigate. One to masts right away, unless you're blocking damage or something. Um, and I get to choose the rest of them go. Yep. Uh, Why that, would you do this? That's brutal. Wow. You think, to be fair, he had five dice versus three. I'm yeah. gonna cancel that hit that you are doing to my masts, and then I'm gonna re-roll a die, and I hit you, and you re-roll that, and now you take a damage on four. So what is it? For my loose can, your loose cannon. So you take four, whatever your four okay. spot is, or if that guy takes it. Okay. So all right, yeah. I'm going to um, four to wherever you four want. Hit. So I will take one to masts. Um, don't care about cargo. Boom boom. Fine. That was so two to hits, one to mass. You can hold one. You have one card left. You oh, yeah. Throw it in hull. Yeah, hull is probably. Well, mass is fine. I just can't run. I'm fine by that. You'll have to sink him. <laughs> if, if you lose your mass, you have to sink him. You can't board. Hmm? Hmm? I guess so. <laughs> That's your only Are you boarding or are you. I'm totally boarding. Okay, so you're boarding, boarding, boarding and he's shooting. Thank you! Ooh. One shot. shot. Good. Suck it. Come on, hole. Oh, you can't do hole. Do uh, car. You choose. Right, I have to choose. Um, this point? Cannons at this point. I don't okay. care about yeah. cannons. All right, I'm boarding so your stupid boarded. ship. Uh, is is two. What's your, your sword is only one. As you soon as I load, as soon as I board, I'm gonna roll two dice. My uh, swivel cannons. Is it on you? Yeah, it is on both. Yeah, we, we uh, Nice. That's a dead crew, mate. One crew dead. Five crew. Absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Wait, is it? But we roll our leadership. You would. You attack the crew that on the ship you're boarding, or is it yeah. attack crew that's trying to board? Either yeah, way, it doesn't oh, matter. Cool. The little silver can. So yeah. as yeah. you get close, they're like, uh, "Ready? Your leadership is so low." Oh, Boom. doesn't matter. One wow. And you kill one of mine. I've survived this one. I'm gonna take Lily off the ship, and I'm gonna get the. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played that. My 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 shot on the man of war was a mistake because I, I doing the math in my head. I was like looking down at all my swivel guns for killing crew. I'm like, dude, I got this. Like, this is gonna be so easy. But you only had the frigate. And I and I had I had the frigate. And I'm Versus thinking like the... I had something to cancel a hit. I had some swivel guns to shoot some crew. I had five. I was gonna be rolling five dice to hit three, three for his seamanship because of the bonus maneuverability. Yeah. I'm like, I've got a really good shot at this. First turn, all five cannons ripped in my ship. Yeah, I was you like, missed. Oh, shit. You had five dice that missed. Oh, I was so screwed. Uh, and yeah. I hit with one. I, miss, I didn't hit you with any dice, and then you just blasted five me. Five cannon oh. shots. It was four that you had to pick, too. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, and that was the one, one thing that I forgot. Fun. I was like, this guy can't get me. I'm going to board him, get my mission done. I'm going to walk away from this. And then if you fail, five I'm cannons. like, whoops, I forgot that he has five cannons aboard. And that, oh, my God, that was so bad. Yeah. At least I got to choose where most of the hits went. And, I mean, after that battle, I'm sitting there sweating, going, uh, okay, I'm, I'm probably going to lose now, because my ship was destroyed. It was going to cost me so much to fix it. And then I'm sitting here staring at this pile of 40 gold. I'm like, and I'm like sitting right next, I was right here. And I'm like, oh my god, I can go there and stash? I'm doing that. And I'm thinking, like, if I retire my guy, I'm going to spawn a couple turns later. I'm going to, I was like, I think I was at four victory points at that point. So I'm like, I can stash almost 50 gold, be really close to victory, start with a fresh pirate, do one or two merchant raids, and I can win. And I was just sort of rushing for that as fast as I could. But that's that's something I've never considered in this game before until we had played the last few times and kind of talked about... They're like, well, we were talking about dying. Like, when we were trying to explain the game, I think, to you, we were saying, don't dying. worry about dying. It's not that yeah. bad. Especially if you have the starter ship. So yeah, if, that, if you have a big ship, you lose your ship, that's kind of a loss. Yep. But if you still have the sloop or the, uh, the starter other ship... Um, then yeah, there's yeah. really how much do you sell the second off. ship for? Ten. Uh, the elder ships sell for ten. Uh, the big ships sell for ten. Oh, small sorry, sell for five. So for right, yeah, sell for ten. Yeah, so that like knowing, I mean, the first time we were we were setting up with these guys, we were like, one of the things is like, be aggressive if you want to take the risks because like worst case scenario, if you die, you start with a new captain and you get ten gold for right. nothing, yeah. which is sometimes better than your current position on the board. But if you've already stashed a bunch of gold, it's awesome. Like, yeah, like you could go threw a bunch of money in a bank, start as a new guy in my hometown yeah. with all that stash available to me yeah. and a clean slate. Yeah, you could go get like two or three victory points by spending all your gold and then or glory points and then die and respawn and yeah. you still have the glory points and you've reset. I actually want to mention to you guys, uh, I was looking at the, uh, uh, where is it? There was a uh, frequently asked question. There's like an advanced game rule that you can play. 
Um, what is it called? The Cutthroat Variant. It's designed for groups seeking more frequent player versus player battles. It should not be regarded as a fix, but more of an attempt to accommodate the expectations and wishes of some groups. Um, an attempt to make sure everyone gets the pirate game they deserve. So there's two parts to this. Uh, Off-turn scouting. A player may scout for the active player immediately after they move onto his sea zone, including moving from port out to sea. Uh, so basically you have the attempt. I mean, so I won't all the rules to it. Essentially you work like an NPC. And then there's... Um, That's cool. There's some circumstantial rules, and then um, <laughs> the Galleon's maneuverability goes down to one. Wow. Um, so just some interesting little some changes you can make if you really want to make the game cutthroat. <laughs> Those are both good. Maybe yeah, I know, right? I wouldn't mind that. That's, yeah. That sounds like fun. Yeah. And um, also, we have the expansion for this, the Seas of Glory expansion, which, dear God, that it box get, is chock full of We have of to be stuff. able to play this game without looking at the rule like once before we even Good consider God. it. On. Yeah, right. and the, the expansion is like modular. There's like 50, oh my God, I think there's like, almost, I want to say 13 modules that you can expand on. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just excited that the board expands, and then there's more loop types you can take. Uh, more more captains. Takes, cap more. takes long enough Another to get boat. anywhere anyways. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't know how much more complexity it adds to the game, but I am a huge fan of modular expansions because, like, you just play with what you want to play and try them out little by little. That's true. Yeah, add more variants. Like, there's another boat type, so you can have yep. different stats. You can more uh, thing, more that'd options. Be nice. Yeah, give you another option for. It's like a middle of the road boat between like these. Like, it's kind of like somewhere in the middle, and yeah. you can play that. I guess however you wanted, yeah. depending on your upgrades. Yeah, that's cool. All right, well, I think that wraps this one up. We've talked certainly enough about this game. Um, one of definitely one of my favorites for sure. Um, yeah, and apologies. It's been a little while since we put out another video. It's been a crazy sort of schedule. I haven't really said this. I talked about it beforehand, but my wife just had a baby. I guess we had a baby, baby as a family. Second baby yeah, about six weeks ago, so that's been <sighs> most of your time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's been a lot of my time. Uh, we're I'm still trying to get down and, and record with these guys as much as we can. They're awesome to come over on a weeknight until 10:45. Dear God. Uh, so yeah, it, that's really what a lot of the uh, a lot of the delay has been. Uh, we're gonna get more of this stuff, and I'm, I'm doing some solo videos and stuff that I've been trying to record sort of in my my free time here and there. But uh, we're still definitely keeping the series running. It's just been a bit of a pause in this one for the whole childbirth thing. So anyway. Take up a lot of time. Yeah, it they, they <laughs> definitely, definitely cuts into the schedule just a little bit. So, uh, anyway, well, thanks for sticking with us. If you have been, we appreciate it. And thanks for watching, as always. Hey, thanks, guys. Take it easy. Thank you. You know, that was bothering me, right? Thank you. No, I mean, it's like we just finish uh, Link up. each other's sentences. <laughs> <laughs> we don't finish each other's sentences. <laughs> Why does that joke never get old? It's so perfect. <laughs> I answered my own question. It's true.